Uh, another great Democratic hero, Andrew Cuomo. Now, this is this it's is perfect. So this, this is, is amazing. This is amazing because Andrew Cuomo. Just look, Joe Biden and the people around, like Joe Biden is a right wing Democrat, and it is not. And there are ideological oppositions to things like Medicare for all, no question. That being said, uh, Joe Biden uh, and and uh, other people in the National Democratic Party, there is, there is a little bit more truth, I think, to the idea that given conditions, just like even the Obama stimulus, there's some progressive stuff in it. And, you know, Biden said to Politico for a, a fleeting moment of sentient, of, of, of like kind of coherence the other day, he said, uh, I want a much bigger stimulus and I want it. And he even spelled out some of the ways in which it could be more, more progressively targeted. I say that all to say that, and certainly Gavin Newsom is somebody who has not in any kind of, I would say not in a structural way, but is absolutely something that you can track his career, particularly in the context of California, which is ahead of the curve as a Bernie state. He's a very neoliberal mayor of San Francisco, and he's been a relatively progressive-ish governor of California. Andrew Cuomo is more committed ideologically to austerity and Republican economics than maybe any other, I mean, I guess with the exception, I mean, obviously Pelosi's up there, but he and Schumer have been on different sides of arguments about funding for New York, where Schumer's on the progressive side. Andrew Ooh. Cuomo Andrew Cuomo is committed to this. Andrew Cuomo is hacking Medicaid right now. So think of this like ruthless commitment and the waves of hospital closures and everything else that he's done to help make the crisis and pandemic as bad as it's been in New York. And then look at this perfect sort of boardroom liberalism moment of and the story of Andrew Cuomo and a set of masks and what they were used for in Albany. Self-portrait that was done by American people. This is a self-portrait of America, okay? That's a self-portrait of America. Pause it. And you know what it's- For those listening, this is a mural of masks. So the same guy, and I saw, and I, look, I found this disturbing as hell. I think every time I see somebody walking on the street without a mask, I do think, what the fuck? The other day I saw some guy walking on a mask and an NYPD pull up beside him and say, where's your mask? And I was terrified that that's happening. So this governor that has put that policy in motion and is, does not have any state strategy for giving people the resources they need, including on ones he says you need to be out in public wearing has no problem doing a press conference showing a piece of hokey bullshit public art that is literally just a waste of masks. So that's what he's showing. I mean, if, if he's planning on ungluing those masks right after that and distributing them to people who need them, then fine. But I don't think that thought even crossed his mind. Uh, I don't think you want the blue in your nose sad. either. <laughs> These were, uh, these were sent to Albany and they just used them for this purpose. Yes. By like supporters who are like Cuomo's my daddy sort of thing. Oh boy. It spells, it spells love. <laughs> that's what it spells. You have to look carefully, but that's what the American people are saying. We received thousands of masks from all across America. Yeah, evidently. Unsolicited, in the mail, homemade, creative, personal, with beautiful notes from all across the country, literally. Just saying, thinking about you, we care, we love you, we want to help. And this is just, People's way of saying we care and we want to help. This 
is what this country is about. And this is what Americans are about. A little bit more of this and a little bit less of the partisanship and the ugliness oh and this God. country would be a better place. So, uh, you know, what I love is if he was saying all of that and some of that is genuinely great rhetoric in front of a, uh, a, a flow chart where he's explaining that he's going to increase Medicaid funding because it's about love mm -hmm. and love is about saving lives and the well-being of all. How big a staff does he have? Like he was just able to task a couple of them to put that thing together. Who put that together? Like what, there's nothing, literally nothing they could uh, be doing besides, you know. That a, is a metaphor for democratic ineffectualness to give anything yeah. other than like pandering visualization. We are, yeah. Material needs is just like too good. I have to feel like I'm living in the simulation. We're going to turn the labor that we do not deserve from you, frankly, uh, as a party. Uh, and we're going to turn it into a symbolic sort of propaganda tool that we can say, look at how much people love us. Look at me, Andrew Cuomo. Everyone from around the country is sending in masks that say, I love New York. And frankly, I mean, again, for everybody, and I'll always say Trump is absolutely appalling and Trump needs to go. But for people singularly obsessed with Trump, that doesn't sound a little, a lot of love, a lot of things happening. Like, Really? Like this guy with an atrocious, despicable record mm -hmm. who you write these absolutely just embarrassing. I mean, you talk about, you know, people I am with all of these like, oh, get on my knees, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, that talking about being a Cuomo sexual is one of the greatest acts of self, oh. self debasement and embarrassing shit I've ever seen in my life. And you and, and this guy is out. Of course it's smarter, of course it's whatever, but I mean, what, what, the, what is that? There's a lot of love, a lot of things happening. And again, as Brennan said, I mean, that is the modern Democratic Party. We, we, and, and I think, you know, in some ways, because there's less, the third way policy template uh, works a lot better when you're riding a tech bubble and you're deregulating after the end of the Cold War. There's a lot more room to gin up broader based gains in like the professional managerial class there isn't the same kind of policy maneuvers around anymore for that type of politics yeah. look at macron um 